السلام عليكم يو هاف تو سي ذس نتنياهو اذا انت رجال وبطل ها ليش ما تريح العالم من هالخمه ومن من هالشرذمه هذه انت ايش تبي بالسلاح عندك يا نتنياهو ها اذا ما تخلص عليهم ايش تبي بهالسلاح عندك خلص على الولع قبل امه خلص على الشايب قبل ولده خلص على الولد قبل ابوه وريحنا من هالعالم هذه اللي اذتنا واشغلتنا بالليل وبالنهار ما بالفيران فارن طاهر الله يلعنكم ويلعن حتى نتنياهو اللي ما خلصنا منكم انا مستعد انام عند يهودي ولا انام عند فلسطيني انا مستعد اقلط يهودي في بيتي واغديه واوكله واشربه ورقده ولا ادخل فلسطيني في بيتي The most shocking thing I have ever heard in my whole life is when I heard a Japanese person being interviewed about the US. He said that we love the US for dropping two nuclear bombs on us. They wiped out hundreds of thousands of civilians because they love us. We deserve it. We love America. I'm not joking. That is a common opinion in Japan right now. The most impressive weapon the US Army has is not Moab or F-35, no. The most impressive weapon is the ability to brainwash whole civilizations. They can convince a Japanese person that dropping two nuclear bombs on them is a good thing. They can convince anyone anything they want. This strategy worked like a charm in a lot of countries like Germany, Japan, Korea, and others. But it failed miserably in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in Palestine. The French also tried the same strategy in Algeria, but it failed. The British tried the same strategy in Egypt, but it failed. There is something about Muslim communities that is so solid that is preventing them from being brainwashed. No matter how hard they do, They will always see evil as evil, and they are never fooled by this propaganda. After these billions spent supporting the hypocrites in our countries, trying to introduce nationalism, liberalism, secularism, feminism, and of course, colors in our society, all of that, of course, behind the mask of the moral high ground. We are so nice, we care about women, we care about children. We care about human rights. Years of work, years of propaganda, billions of dollars. All of that was gone in one week during the events in Palestine. Suddenly, all the hypocrites who are living between us were revealed. All the TV channels that are promoting the Western way of life and how is it superior to ours were exposed. All the intelligence agents that have a long beard and pretending to be scholars, were exposed. All the kids who were growing up thinking about games and music and the American dream suddenly dropped their iPads and ran to their mothers and fathers and started asking, are we animals to them? Do they even think of us as human like them? Are they pretending to care about human rights just as a cover to hide their ugly face? Kids who didn't live through an nakba and Al-Intifada all over the world are starting to ask and learn about the reality and the ugliness that is being covered. Millions who were in ghafla forgetting Allah and pursuing worldly pleasures suddenly woke up, closed Netflix and brought their prayer mat. Divisions and enmity that were being pushed between Muslims over nationalities, borders, politics, all of that, suddenly dissolved. A man who was so spoiled, sitting in his air-conditioned room, complaining about salt in his dinner. The man who doesn't even remember when was the last time he said Alhamdulillah. He is now on the ground prostrating, asking forgiveness for his years of delusion. Local companies who were dying in front of multinational giants are now doing better than ever. Even non-Muslims who were being taught by their governments and their media from their childhood that Muslims are the bad people started to question their own governments after seeing their true faces. 
after they were exposed and started reading the Quran for the first time in their life. People have seen the strength and the faith of a whole nation when they were sitting, having fun, chatting, showering, and playing with their kids, knowing that tomorrow will be their last day in the world. Knowing that one man from the other side of the world has given the green light to finish all of them. People started asking, what is that faith? that is making them so strong, like they don't care that tomorrow will be their last day on earth. We in America are watching our government crumble, our president crumble with his lies, his corruption. There is huge, huge content creators out there that are speaking against our political parties. We need this. Tell the truth about Palestine. Tell the truth about what is going on in this world. Expose them, guys. Am I the only one that has been studying Islam more with everything that's been going on? Because you don't see a single video of anyone cursing Israel. You see them praying to Allah. So I woke up this morning and I was listening um, to the Quran because there was another creator who mentioned how she was like really impressed by the faith of the Palestinian people and she wanted to know where it came from. And people were like, um, it's, it's in the Quran. It's, it's the Islamic faith. We have been so just oblivious. And now our country is helping, assisting in the genocide of a whole people. Fuck. My kid's staying home. We're not going to school. I'm not working. I'm not doing. So earlier today, I made a video saying how impressed I was with Palestinian faith because it just seems that Palestinians have this ironclad faith, even in the face of losing quite literally everything. And people were commenting underneath saying, well, yeah, girl, that's Islam. Have you read the Quran? You should probably read the Quran. And I have time. And I was also curious as to what, how, how even in at, facing genocide is Palestinian faith so strong. And so I decided to go on script to see if there was an audiobook version of the Quran. There is. And so I started listening straight off the bat what I'm a fan of. <laughs> there is no introduction. I even thought that I, I accidentally skipped over something because it gets straight to it. Like there is no once upon a time, <laughs> there is no in the beginning there is none of that. It was like, all right, if you do this, then this happens. If you do this, like it gets straight into it. And by the way, if you are Muslim, I hope I'm not being disrespectful. This is just my experience in reading the Quran for the first time. I'm on, I'm on like chapter four of like 117, but I found some things very interesting. Like first it said, oppression is worse than murder. And I was like, that's a word. And then it was saying, um, it was talking about divorce. And I didn't know divorce was allowed. Divorce is allowed in the Islamic religion or Islam religion. And it was saying how if you're a woman and you get divorced, you have to wait three periods. I don't know how long a period is, but you have to wait three periods. And then it's, you're OK to remarry, girl, like go find your husband. And it was saying if you're a dude and you divorce your wife and you haven't touched her yet, but you promised her a dowry, you still got to pay half that shit. I was like feminism. And then there was um, a part in there that I was surprised about. I don't know why I thought it was going to be like the Christian religion where um, if somebody slaps you, you got to offer your other cheek and everything because that always bothered me. Like I'm like, if I, if somebody slaps me, I should be able to slap them back. In the Quran, it says if somebody fights you, you fight them back. You're like if whatever they do to you, you do to them. And I was like, absolutely. And so far, it's been a time. وَإِذَا سَمِعُوا مَا أُنزِلَ إِلَى الرَّسُولِ تَرَى أَعْيُنَهُمْ تَفِيضُ مِنَ الدَّمْعِ مِمَّا عَرَفُوا مِمَّا عَرَفُوا مِنَ الْحَقِّ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا
I've been reading the Quran, and I have a lot to say, especially because I grew up as an evangelical Christian. A Jewish person reading this as text for the first time. I've never laid my eyes on the Quran before. I got the Quran. Um, I got like a version that I can read and then also an audio version. I didn't know any of this stuff. The propaganda runs deep. I'm deprogramming as I'm trying to get education materials. Can someone please tell me how I feel more peace in my heart after reading 10 pages from the Quran than 25 years of being raised Christian? As I'm reading the Quran, it's answering exactly the questions that's in my mind. It's like God heard my questions and my prayers, and it's in this book. But I took the Shahada because the Quran was the final missing piece. After everything I studied, there was always missing pieces. There was always gaps in the knowledge, no matter what religion I studied. But whenever I got around to studying Islam, it made everything make sense. It finally pulled everything together, pulled out all the holes, and filled the missing gaps. It was the first book that had the truth in it. They often try to convince me to change my mind on things that I'm sure of, and it works. So I want to know, am I meant to be a Muslim before I tell my family? And I have decided that I do want to be Muslim. I have purchased a Quran. I purchased a prayer mat. I purchased hijabs. I, I'm scared, especially since I've been in extreme support, very vocally, on all of my social medias about what is occurring in Palestine. I'm just so heartbroken, and I guess I'm making this video to see if there are any Muslims in Tampa, Florida, specifically women. I, need the support i grew up in a baptist environment at home but i was taught by catholics and in both settings logic was not encouraged when i read through the quran i see logic and mysticism i see logic and divinity brought together i understand why there is such um even in anguish as you watch muslim palestinians who are being brutally like exterminated as you watch this you are still seeing them say Allah is all-knowing, you know, as they are holding their family members grieving, mothers holding their children, fathers holding their children, children um, thinking about their mother. They're being told, thank, thank God, show thanks to God, show praise to him, show understanding of his, his wisdom. And when you read, just from reading the second surah, I'm like, I get it. I understand why such faith could show up even in such dark times. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. 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 Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasoolah. Wa rasoolah. Masha'Allah, you've been Muslim. <laughs> I have not taken the Shahada yet. But last night I did make the decision that I would like to. This is the only religion that's made sense. The only one that's really ever brought me genuine comfort and peace. And I like the relationship. Or I look forward to the relationship that I get to have with Allah as I go deeper into my faith. I want to preface this by saying that I'm not Muslim, I'm Jewish. But I've noticed something, and I'm sure a lot of Muslims have also noticed this, that through you know this entire thing with Palestine, so many more people are learning about Islam and so many more people are reading the Quran. Y'all are about to get a lot of converts. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a lot of people turning to Islam soon. <laughs> I've seen people be like, wow, this is really interesting. <laughs> Honey, you're next. <laughs> Islam was and is the most growing religion, but what we're seeing these days is unprecedented. Even in our small online community, we usually saw two to three people taking their shahada every month. But now it seems like two to three people are taking their shahada every day. And remember, we're just a very, very, very small community. People are waking up. People are seeing that they have been lied to all their lives. The world has changed for the better in one week, and there is no way back. Allah said in chapter Ali Imran, verse 140, وَتِلْكَ الْأَيَّامُ نُدَاوِلُهَا بَيْنَ النَّاسِ 
وليعلم الله الذين آمنوا. We alternate victory and defeat among people so that Allah may reveal the true believers. And that is exactly what's happening right now. Everyone is getting revealed. وَيَتَّخِذَ مِنْكُمْ شُهَدَاءَ وَاللَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الظَّالِمِينَ Also, Allah chooses martyrs from among you, and Allah does not like the oppressors. And regarding all the propaganda money and the billions of dollars that was being spent to portray themselves on the moral high ground position and portray Muslims as the bad other, Allah said in chapter Al-Anfal, verse 36, إن الذين كفروا ينفقون أموالهم ليصدوا عن سبيل الله Surely the disbelievers spend their wealth to hinder others from the path of Allah فسينفقونها ثم تكون عليهم حسرة ثم يغلبون They will spend it Then it will become a source of regret for them Then they will be defeated والذين كفروا إلى جهنم يحشرون and those who have disbelieved will be herded to hellfire. And finally, for the minority of Muslims who fell into the propaganda trap and became puppies to the secular West, Allah said in chapter Muhammad verse 36, وَإِن تَتَوَلَّوْا يَسْتَبْدِلْ قَوْمًا غَيْرَكُمْ ثُمَّ لَا يَكُونُوا أَمْثَالَكُمْ If you turn away, he will replace you with other people. Then they will not be like you. Bye-bye. You have been replaced by better people. Of course, you already know by now that all of our accounts and channels are restricted from normal reach. The only way Dawa videos can spread these days is by you sharing them. Make sure you help it spread and help our voice to be heard. Also, check our new playlist, Evidence of Islam. Thanks and Salaam Alaikum. ولا تحسبن الله غافلا عما يعمل الظالمون إنما يؤخرهم ليوم تشخص فيه الأبصار مهطعين مقنعي رؤوسهم لا يرتد إليهم طرفهم وأفئدتهم هواء وأنذر الناس يوم يأتيهم العذاب فيقول الذين ظلموا فيقول الذين ظلموا ربنا أخرنا إلى أجل قريب نجب دعوتك ونتبع الرسل أولم تكونوا أقسمتم من قبل ما لكم من زوال وسكنتم في مساكن الذين ظلموا أنفسهم وتبين لكم كيف فعلنا بهم وضربنا لكم الأمثال وقد مكروا مكرهم وعند الله مكرهم وإن كان مكرهم لتزول منه الجبال فلا تحسبن الله مخلف وعده رسله إن الله عزيز ذو انتقام يوم تبدل الأرض غير الأرض والسماوات وبرزوا لله وبرزوا لله الواحد القهار وترى المجرمين يومئذ مقرنين في الأصفاد سرابينهم من قطران وتغشى وجوههم النار لي
ليجزي الله كل نفس ما كسبت إن الله سريع الحساب هذا بلاغ للناس ولينذروا به وليعلموا أن وليذكر أولو الألباب